have taken both of your suggestions for bridesmaids dresses under consideration and may I applaud your efforts. I mean, that red Vera Wang is really hot and the blue chiffon, gorgeous. But the winner is the only option I ever really considered, my choice. <laughs> okay, now wait, a black woman just doesn't look good in lilac, all right? Oh, I beg to differ. May I direct your attention to a little movie called The Color Purple? I have got to get some guy friends. Teddy, we need to resolve the dress issue. Now, clearly, plunging cleavage is the way to go. It's as obvious as, well, no one likes a braggart. I do. Look, this is my wedding, and I want people to be looking at my cleavage. <laughs> what do you want me to do, walk down the aisle backwards? <laughs> well, at least that way the ushers will recognize you. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I've got to go. Max's college roommate is coming into town tonight, and I have to go pretty up. Wait, 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 wait. Is he straight, single, married, unhappily married? <laughs> Trust me, he is not your type. He writes kids' books. Lewis Richards, he wrote the uh, Fuzzy McPherson series. Oh, my God, he wrote that? I'm a huge fan of the fuzz. Fuzzy McPherson? I mean, even I've heard of that, and all I read are menus and prescriptions. <laughs> what the hell? Fix me up with him. What happened to Raul? Mm, immigration. Oh, that's too bad, too bad. Oh, no, no, I called them. <laughs> This morning, I took a good long look in the mirror. Then I got out of bed and said to myself, party life is prematurely aging me. I should follow Teddy's example and just settle for a guy like Max. <laughs> God knows I won't get any lines from laughing. <laughs> oh, I did not settle for your information. Max is a very funny man. He does this Billy Crystal, you look a marvelous impression. <laughs> that is so funny. He's funny. <laughs> he is. Teddy, I'm serious. If I'm going to settle, I might as well go all the way. Hey, if you're gonna settle, welcome to rock bottom. <laughs> I'm home. Hey. Hey, but you look marvelous. <laughs> and people say you're not funny. <laughs> what? Oh, uh... Hey, look what I made. Wow. What is it? Ugh, I'm ready to give up and call it dip. Honey, you didn't have to go all this trouble for Lewis. Oh, come on. If he's important to you, he's important to me. Anyway, I think it's kind of sexy that you were his mentor. You do? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Please stop. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I'm so proud of Lewis. I used to have to feed him work all the time just to keep him going, and now every kid in America's reading. Well, not me, not anymore. Now I'm reading The Shining. You're reading The Shining? Isn't that kind of violent? Yeah, you bet it is. I'm gonna read the books of all the movies you won't let me see. <laughs> that is the cutest act of rebellion I've ever seen. Won't be so cute when you see my manifesto. Hey, you. Is Lewis here yet? Not yet. Daddy, how come you can't write good stories like Lewis does? Well, Lewis and I write different types of stories, honey. Lewis's are made up, but uh, Daddy writes true stories. Well, maybe if you try really, really hard, you can make one up, too. <laughs> Sweetie, you know, Lewis didn't get to interview the Undersecretary of Agriculture, you know, about the lack of farm subsidies in the upcoming congressional... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Liza, is this what you're wearing at the wedding? Yes, and I'm gonna have flowers in my hair, and Carter's gonna be the wing bear. Or no. All right, let's start. Not gonna do it. Ring bearer is lame. But the ring bearer carries the rings. He's like the quarterback of the wedding. Only instead of a football, he carries a little velvet pillow. <laughs> now I'm psyched. <laughs> And I'm gonna throw down rose petals, and Daddy's gonna be the groom, and Teddy's gonna be the bride, and Gladys, what are you gonna be? You know, I 
was just thinking about that because, of course, you're part of the family, Gladys, and, and you should be, uh, uh, maybe you could, uh... I don't sing. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask you that. Okay, so you don't sing. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you be one of my bridesmaids? Me? And your two party girlfriends? Absolutely. I would be honored if you would be one of my bridesmaids. New. No. The honor would be mine. I'd oh. love to. Oh. Yeah. You get enough champagne in me, maybe I will see. <laughs> Rain bear still open. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, man? Look at you. You look marvelous. Oh, oh boy, did I miss that, you nut. Louis, this is, this is Louis. Hi, Louis, I'm Teddy. Oh, God, it's so great to meet you. I have heard so much about you. Oh, well, wait, don't you want to hear my side of the story? <laughs> <laughs> you are just as funny as Max. Oh, I can't imagine the two of you cut-ups in the same dorm room. How did you get any work done? <laughs> I was just two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> stop, stop. I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> come in. Come in, come in, come in. Liza. Carter. Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Could you sign my book, please? Oh, wow, Eliza. The last time I saw you, your head was still soft. <laughs> Picture of Jody, the one I chick month. She's my favorite. <laughs> well, maybe if you're really good, Lewis will tell you what happens to her in the new book. She dies. <laughs> Jody's gonna die? No, not really, honey. No, I'm sure she lives forever in the enchanted forest. Yeah, I don't see how. <laughs> she eats an exploding acorn. <laughs> Time. Yay, bath time. I'm not so good with real-life kids. <laughs> Why don't you and I go into the living room, okay? Wow, someone's been working out. Thank you. I drive a stick. <laughs> Jody dies? <laughs> What else? Oh, More? He had a ponytail. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Sometimes he wore it in braids. <laughs> a braid. A braid. You saw it, too, because you were baked, man. <laughs> I can't believe your books are molding young minds. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I didn't write the books for kids. I wrote them for adults, but the publishing company saw them as kids' oh, books. Wait, wait, wait. And... Fuzzy McPherson's not for kids? I mean, I mean come on, the guy lives in an enchanted forest. It's a metaphor. Fuzzy is mankind in its unspoiled state. Duh. <laughs> Go on, Lou. And, of course, the four rascally bunnies represent the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Okay, let me guess. Trevor the turtle, the devil? No, he's just a big, silly turtle. <laughs> Look, I gotta get back to the hotel. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, dinner tomorrow night, right? Hey, let's have a cocktail party beforehand. Oh, Sounds great. Great idea. Great to see you. I'll, I'll get your coat. Teddy, <laughs> thank you for a fine evening. You're really nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. My pleasure. Laugh? I thought I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I don't think a handshake is gonna do it, Louis. <laughs> Slip me the tongue. <laughs> what? We were kissing goodbye at the end of the night, and there was a tongue in my mouth that was not my own. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sure that it was his tongue? Trust me. I followed the extra tongue, and it led directly to his face. <laughs> God. All right, so what did Max say? I didn't tell him. Oh, come on. You've got to tell Max. You know, I'm not going to ruin a 20-year friendship. The guy seems so goofy and harmless. Maybe it was a mistake. Yeah, but what if it wasn't? Well, believe me, it is not going to happen twice. We're having cocktails at my house tonight, and I have a foolproof plan not to get kissed again. But I need your help. Here, come on, stand up. Okay. Try to kiss me. <laughs> All right, you did bring in the bagel, so... <laughs> I'm serious, I'm serious. If Lewis tries to kiss me tonight, I'm going to turn my head to the side at the last second. So I want to practice having you... Oh, excellent plan. I wasn't oh, ready. Oh, 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 no, I'm all over you. I'm not ready. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got you. Stop kissing me. Okay. All right. 
Kiss me. Oh, oh. Hey, see? You moved. Oh, good night, Louis. Oh, good night to you. Mm -hmm. oh. See? Bless me, Mojo. Damn. Wait a minute. That reminds me. My videos are overdue. After the boys go out, we'll sit down, have a little bridesmaids meeting. Just us bridesmaids. What? And I've got some shower games that you girls are just gonna love. <laughs> There's this risque one where after every sentence, you add the words, in bed. It gets crazy. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, you've got a problem. Your nanny thinks she's gonna be a bridesmaid. Oh, God, what am I gonna do? I guess we'll have to make her one. You weakling. Hey, Hillary, guess who's gonna be a bridesmaid with us? Gladys. Our lesbian spinning instructor? <laughs> no, Gladys, my nanny. Well, that makes me feel really special, given that you've known us a million years and you've known her, what, 10 seconds? Teddy, you've made me feel cheap and not in a good way. Look, I know how you feel, but it's going to be okay. We'll just make her one of our gal pals. Besides, Gladys is really very fun. In bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't get it, but I'm intrigued. You know who my favorite character was in your last book? Jody, the one-eyed chipmunk. <laughs> I learned a valuable life lesson from her. As long as you're prepared, nothing bad can ever happen to you. <laughs> One would think. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we got a reservation. We got to go, guys. We're going to be late. Sweetheart, do you sure you don't want a cup? Oh, no, you go ahead. Have fun with the boys. All right. Guys, uh, uh, don't make me stay here with them. Hint, hint, hint. Oh, you, you can come if you want. Well, good night, ladies. Fellas, I've got a video that needs returning in my car. Teddy, I'll see you at the book signing tomorrow. OK. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> oh, hey, you forgot your jacket. Oh, thank you. Can you believe how easily manipulated Teddy is? Uh, if that woman were my nanny, I would set her straight. I would tell her in no one's You girls busy? No, ma'am. <laughs> got some business to discuss. She reminds me of my mother. I'm scared, I'm folding, I'm out. <laughs> well, at least you went down fighting. <laughs> Let's talk turkey. Lilac isn't a color. It's a half ass attempt at purple. <laughs> now, on the other hand, red is... No. But that leaves us thousands of colors to choose from. And of those thousands, the one we will be choosing is burgundy. I was just saying that myself. <laughs> uh, burgundy it is, ma'am. She reminds me of my mommy, too. <laughs> Glad you're doing business with you. that thing again. Oh, what thing? Oh, never mind. Totally lost interest. The man's a snore. Yeah, he is a little though. Except when he's plowing his tongue into my mouth. <laughs> what? My new writer boyfriend kissed you? <laughs> now I must take a lover. Teddy, you know you have to tell Max. No, I don't. I can handle this. I'm going straight to plan C. All right, so what's plan C? Funny buck teeth? I don't know. <laughs> no, honesty. Ha, that's like my plan Z. <laughs> I'm going to go to Lewis's book signing tomorrow and confront him. It's in a public place, so he's not going to be able to make a pass at me. What do you mean? Well, when there's people there, he can't do anything of a sexual nature. OK, I'm not following you. <laughs> There will be people there, so he cannot kiss me. Stop it, Teddy. You're talking in riddles. <laughs> OK, Billy. You enjoy. And next time, you tell Mommy and Daddy that Fuzzy McPherson likes the kids who buy the hardcovers the best. <laughs> Hello, Lewis. Hey, Teddy. Thanks for coming. But I got to finish signing the books for these kids. Give me five minutes. No. What I have to say to you, I have to say now. You seem mad. Yes, I'm mad. 
Did you really think you could get away with it? Teddy, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't think this is the time or the place. Oh, this is the time, and I purposely chose this place so you wouldn't be able to do that thing you do. What thing? You know, that thing you do where you... <laughs> that thing, that thing where you... S-T-I-C-K, your T-O-N-G-U-E, and my M-O-U-T-H? They can read. <laughs> Look, kids, I'm gonna take a 10-minute break here, and Teddy, you might want to think about taking a time out, too. Hey, you. Max. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Where's hey. Louis? Um, Max, I have done everything I can to spare you this, but I have to tell you something. Your friend Louis put his tongue in my mouth. Did he put you up to this? That's, that's funny. Max, Max, look at me. Louis put his tongue in my mouth. Twice. Louis did? Yes. Really? Yes. I want to kill him. M Max, now look, this is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want you to blow. It's a little late for that. I, I got to do what I got to do. Max. Honey, honey, get out of my way. Dude. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Easy, Tiger. Pace yourself. Dude, what are you talking about? You hit on my fiance. What? You know, you might want to think twice about this chick. She's crazy. Crazy? Oh, dude, you are so dead. Would you let me handle this? <clears throat> dude. <laughs> I haven't been this mad at you since you scammed my Doobie Brothers ticket sophomore year. And he tongued me. Dude, I was the 56th caller, not you. I was out getting us sandwiches. You were just supposed to stay on the line. You knew I was coming back. Answer the question, were you the 56th caller? I would have been, but you were whining for meatball subs. But it's tonguing your fiancé. That's what's got you all riled up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? Yeah, every time you said goodbye, you put your tongue in my mouth. Teddy, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh. A few days ago, I had oral surgery. They nicked a nerve, and I still don't have all the feeling back in my tongue. <laughs> oh, Teddy, I am so, so sorry. You're saying this was an accident. An accident? It was a train wreck. I had no idea I was doing that. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, God, what kind of person would tongue his friend's fiance? Only you, man. <laughs> It only happened to you. <laughs> oh, this is such classic Lewis. Oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Ah, forget about this. Let's go get some dinner, all right? I'll, I'll go pull the car around. Okay. Oh, and dude, by the way, doobie tickets, so mine. <laughs> what a great guy. Oh, I'm just so glad we cleared this up because, uh. you know, other than the tongue thing, I really like you. I like you, too. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Lewis. Oh. <laughs> Did you just grab my ass? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, Louis, I'm so sorry. See, I lost the feeling in my shoulders and must have accidentally grabbed the bookcase and thrown it on top of you. <laughs> I'll explain to Max why you couldn't make it. Are you back from your break yet? <laughs> this really isn't a good time. So, anyway, as we all know, weddings are dictatorships. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've really meditated on it. And as much as I know you want your dress to be burgundy, and somehow you've gotten Hillary and Judy to sign off on it, I am afraid I'm going to have to stick with lilac. But I like burgundy. I know you had your colors done. I, I think that's great. Teddy, I'm a winter. Winter's can't wear lilac. Well, I think you can pull it off. And I I'm afraid that I'm going to have to insist. After all, it's my wedding. You still don't have a ring bearer. <laughs> Excuse me. You have a ring bearer. <laughs> How do you get him to do what you want?
Burgundy it is. 